on my electric scooter. First stop, you're pulling up to Starbucks drive through There's usually not that much change on this particular drive through because most uh, oh look, there's a dime, two dimes, a penny, 21 cents, and it looks like a penny here, another penny here. Oh, is that two more dimes? No, same ones I had. Ah, uh, so we got just about 25 cents from the first stop but this Starbucks and Dunkin Donuts doesn't usually get that much change um, because most of the people that come to the drive through they have a little cup there that they have for chips and the usually the customers will tell the person at the window to keep the change so that's why it doesn't much change on the floor because they put it in the cup but sometimes the change does fall as you've seen. I got 25 cents from the first, this is my first stop. Now I'm gonna ride down the road. It's only about less than a quarter mile away down that way um, to Taco Bell and McDonald's. Usually Taco Bell is more um, busy than McDonald's at this time of night. So I don't know if the drive-through will be empty, but it is, I will stop by it and check it out. But McDonald's is usually not as busy right now and McDonald's always has a ton of change on the floor. So I'm gonna cut the video now and I'm gonna re-record as soon as I get to McDonald's when I pull up. Thank you. Here we go. More pennies, oops. Like about fifty cents. There's another nickel. Real quick, funny uh, nickel. That's it. Like Taco Bell, clear it up. KFC, Dunkin' Donuts, and then my last stop is Burger King. And it's all within, at least I would say, a quarter mile distance. All on one road, all within a quarter mile distance, so it's not far at all. And if you have a car, it's even better, but I don't have a car. So, I use my scooter. And here we go, we got a quarter, some pennies. Um, the crew. <laughs> that looks like it might be it. One more penny for the road. That's it. And 
didn't I didn't do the math, but when I get home I count it all. And that's a property of like at least over two fifty, probably over three dollars and change just from those three restaurants, Starbucks, Taco Bell, um McDonald's. McDonald's always at least at least has a, always at least a dollar or more. Sometimes days are better than others. Um, so yeah, my next stop is KFC, Dunkin' Donuts, and then Burger King. So hopefully I can get at least another dollar or so and change. So I can go home with an extra, probably three or four bucks. Um, like I said, if you have a car, it's obviously a lot quicker and faster. Literally get here to the other side in less than a minute, but I don't have a car right now. I'm actually looking to buy one tomorrow so hopefully that falls through so i don't have to walk and ride a scooter no more but either way i don't mind um so yeah just do this every day and you can easily garnish enough money my film is not being made until spring i have at least another good five or six months until filming starts so with all the money from my from me working from getting do donations from the other places I'm doing all the other stuff that I do. Um, I'm gonna start looking for endorsements from, from restaurants. I'm doing other things to, to garner some money that you will learn about in the in the in, in my uh, booklet or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, so you learn more. This is just one way by doing this. You can easily make an extra 20, 25 a week, and then per month, at least 50, 60, or I would say like around 30 to 50 extra dollars all in change and sometimes you get lucky and you find the dollar bill on the floor I had that I only had that happen twice but it has happened so yeah I'll catch you guys the next stop and yeah see you there okay so here I am at KFC now KFC usually doesn't have that much change in the floor, but I just stopped by it because it's along the way. And looks like there's nothing here except for a cat hot sauce. But sometimes even just a penny will do it. But if there's nothing here, that's fine. They all can be winners, you know? But next up is Dunkin' Donuts. It's just the next building over and then Burger King is across the street. So I'll see you there. So Dunkin' Donuts is right over there. Well, it didn't have anything, so I didn't bother to record. But here I am at the final stop at Burger King. Let's see what we get. And every time I come here, let me see. There's a dime over here, but it's literally stuck to the floor. <laughs> there it is can't get it out maybe if I had like a screwdriver or something I can pop it out but I don't have one <laughs> so let's see what Burger King has for me one penny a dime and that's it that's it 11 cents well 11 cents will help out tremendously. Hey, what's up? Oh, <laughs> now you know what I'm doing? I'm making a mini documentary. I'm gonna shut it off. Okay, and now I just got back home. Going home. Home sweet home. Max! Shut up, get inside. Raw footage inside my house. So now I'm going to show you what all the changes look like. This is just sushi for my job. Let's see the goods. Let's 
from work. And this is from maybe like 50 cents from work because I do get some change when I get my money back from work. But the rest is definitely oh, from, well, I, oh, I, let me just make this clear. When I go to work, I don't bring no money. I don't bring nothing with me because one, I don't want to spend money. Two, because I'm saving for the film. Two, I don't want to accidentally lose money for whatever reason, pull out my phone or who knows, you know, just rather avoid the risk. So I don't bring no money with me at all. No change, no dollars, no nothing. So this is all the change from today. Straight, straight from my pocket, see? Obviously it's mostly pennies because that's what most people throw on the floor because they don't care. We got one quarter, we got two quarters. Seventy-five. Already one dollar. One dollar. Dollar twenty-five. Dollar fifty. Five I made in change today. Not as much as I normally pick up, but like I said, the minimum is usually around two bucks, and the most I ever picked was at least five or six dollars. Like I remember one time I went to McDonald's and there was so many quarters on the floor. I was like, what? That's what made me want to do it because I remembered when I used to do DoorDash, I was in line waiting, and I was like, you know what? Let me just look on the ground for some reason. I just did. And there was so many quarters and dimes and nickels. I was like, what? This is crazy. I had like three, four bucks just from opening my door. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. So now that my job is near all these restaurants, so when I get out of work, I just pick up all the change from those five restaurants that are literally only a quarter mile from apart from each other. So they're all really close to each other. It's only a quarter mile down, down the road and back. And then my home is a mile away from my job. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the value of a penny. And I am Jay Gotti. Peace.